of course, the backbone of every parish, whether it be the religious education program or other activities, lies with the dedication of its volunteers. At Our Lady of the Lake in Southwick, Norma Uris, who is 96, is a model of parish stewardship, helping in religious education, summer Bible camps, as well as other endeavors. Rebecca Drake had the opportunity to meet this remarkable woman and prepare this feature. Whenever there is music, worship, and fun at Our Lady of the Lake Parish in Southwick, 96-year-old Norma Uris is likely to be right in the middle of it. I was always singing. I think I was born singing. The Westfield native, whose maiden name is Battistoni, first learned to sing the Italian songs her father taught her at age three. La Mariana la va in campagna finché so tramonterà, tramonterà, chissà quando, chissà quando ritornerà. And that means, Mary, uh, this little girl goes, La Mariana, her name is Mary Ann, went, goes to the mountain with the animals and when the sun rises, but we don't know what time she will be coming home. Along with her love of singing, Norma also fell in love with her faith at a very young age as a student in the original Cathedral Grammar School. And I remember the sisters taking us into church for all the special masses that were going on. Sometimes when the bishop was doing a mass, they'd take us in to see the masses. And it was, it was really something. Norma's family moved to Southwick when she was 16, and there she continued singing in a bar owned and operated by her parents, now known as the State Line Station. And there she also met her future husband, John Uris. Nice Polish boy and in the bar. A very church-going boy, because I would see him at church every Sunday. The couple married, had seven children, and eventually bought the Southwick Bar from Norma's parents. John died in 1993. He was a very, very, oh, I don't know, such a perfect, not perfect. No, I can't say he was perfect. None of us are perfect, but he was such a, a terrific guy. Everyone liked him. Norma also lost her oldest son last winter but her personal sorrows and struggles haven't stopped her from giving her time and her love to her parish. From the time I first came down the aisle comes this lady in a, a wheelchair at Mass very, very faithfully, but not only on Sunday Mass, also coming whenever she can, and that was most of the time, at daily Mass. In addition to her faithful Mass attendance, Father Henry says Norma participates in as many social and educational activities as she can. Here's a woman in her mid-90s still wanting to learn, coming to the weekly Bible study. She's just incredible. I mean, wherever, wherever there, the action is at the church, Norma is there. Spending time with Norma Uris, it's easy to see what keeps her going. Faith, fun, and her love of Jesus. As she shares her gift of singing with the parish children, Norma also shares with them her deep faith, telling them how much God loves them. I said, look at the tree. I said, make, make believe that there's a, a bench around that tree. Now I said, think of Jesus. Now he's sitting on that bench. Now think of yourself in Jesus' arms. And he's holding you and telling you he loves you and he, he cares about you and not to worry. And so sometimes that's what I have to do. I have to put myself in Jesus' lap. And the lesson she teaches has clearly reached young hearts in the parish. She inspires me to understand how God loves us and how he is very nice and loving, slow to anger, easy to forgive. The youngsters of the parish also have learned the special role they play in bringing joy to Norma's life. 
she always says she doesn't do it for her. She always does it because she loves having fun with the kids and singing, and it just fills her up with joy. So I think that's really nice. Norma also inspires adults of the parish and has this advice for those who, like herself, may be struggling with disabilities. I would say put your trust in God and keep praying. That's it. That's the main thing, and love him because he loves you more than you love him. And just as important as praying, she says, try to stay active and have fun. I like to have fun. I like to, I like to laugh. I like to do things with kids that make them laugh. Faith, love, and laughter, a recipe for life and a reason to keep on singing. For Real to Real, I'm Rebecca Drake.